Hi, this is Zach OX again, and for this video I'm going to be going over how to declare your objects and controls, um, setting them to equal others, how to pass them as sub or function, and then passing arrays. So I'm going to leave this open. <clears throat> and what we're going to first start out with is standard exe. Open. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do is go to view code. Maximize that and start with the option explicit, of course. And then we're going to go straight into the form. Okay, if you don't know what an object is, um, basically it can be just pretty much anything. Um, it's usually, a, we could just say it's a control or something. It could even be a raise. We don't know what it is. Um, but the way you do this is in a sub procedure or a function, you'd start out with dim, of course. Um, and then I just use the prefix obg, it stands for object. And I'll put um, unknown as an example as object. And then what you want to do later um, for that is set it equal to something. Um, so what we could do is set object unknown equal to, but we don't have the object yet. So um, actually we could set it to a form, but I'm going to show. I'm going to open up form one real quick and add a button. Okay, and close it. All right. So that button should be command one. We're not going to use the prefix for right now. <laughs> should be command one. Okay. Oh, forgot. Get rid of this. That's why it's not referencing. There we go. Now it shows it's working. Okay. Set it equal to command one. That's going to be making this object um, equal to that command one. I like kind of like referencing to it. Um, what you can do now is you could use that dot um, caption equals hello as an example here. We're going to change the caption. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And we have hello here. And go back and close that. Now you can pass anything else here because this is an object. Um, maybe you want to pass something else, the form, form one. And then you could do message box um, unknown dot name. And that should give us form one. Yep. Okay, go ahead and close that. But what I'm showing this for is if you had a, made a sub and you have different objects, you have different controls, text boxes, and um, maybe labels, but um, let's go with with labels and frames. Labels and frames both use dot .caption. Um, if you were passing that uh, an object, let's go ahead and write one real quick. Private sub. Um, change control. And then we can just say object control as control. But if it was like I said, if you didn't know if it was an array or whatever you're gonna pass at the time, you could use object. We're gonna show that we can use control. And in here you could have just like I was saying um, with the frame or label um, object control dot caption equals hello. Now if we pass our label or frame, I'm just going to show with the frame, then we should be okay. So we're going to go ahead and call this change control frame one Okay, go ahead and run. And 
that was the previous message box. You can see form one right or frame one, excuse me, it says hello. <clears throat> now you would switch this really to object. If you're messing with arrays or control arrays. Now, if it was just one control, you could just put control and it will work. But if you have multiple controls, that's going to be control array, what's going to follow under objects. Um, you're going to just have to know that. Uh, so go ahead and just showing in code. If I had multiple different ones. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another button. Show my control array here. Okay, we're gonna make this. I have to give this an index first. Index one, and then the same name as this button. But now this one has got index of zero. Okay, good. It changed it by itself. And index of one. So now we go back to the view code. Um, here now we can call this and use. Um, what is it? Command one. I believe you do it like that because it's already control ray. Now that's two different buttons. Um, it should work. Oops, I fast forward a little bit too much. Go ahead and try again real quick. Yep. Yeah, see now you have been passed into that sub. Okay, so what was next on the list? Um, setting them to others, already said, how to pass them, how to pass the raise. I pretty much just covered everything real, that real quick. Um, but here's some examples of stuff you want to be careful with. Right here, when I set this object unknown equals to form one, usually you can, like when you're unloading a form, you're going to be saying set the form name equal to nothing. That's to say memory um, for the pro program. But this is just show an example. If if I want to set form one to equal nothing, I have to use the name form one. Because if I use obg unknown, what this is saying instead is that now this object right here is equal to nothing. It's not equal to form one. So the statement is not the same. Um, you need to really understand that. So if I did this equals nothing and this, they are not the same statement. This is actually hitting the form one object or control, excuse me, the form. Um, this is hitting the reference, but uh, it's once it hits that reference, it's now equal to nothing. And if you wanted to know um, if it was equal to nothing, because sometimes you will want to know this, start with if OGX unknown is nothing, because we're this is we're setting it and we're not having it just equal to something without the set. Um, if that was the case, we'd use an equal here is nothing then. And if, and then we could have a message box, but it's not going to be nothing. It's going to it's equal to form one. So instead, we could put if you want to say it is not equal to nothing, you just put not here, um, and that would say that okay, well now it's not empty. It's equal to something. <clears throat> so that's going to do it for now. Um, if I went too fast on this, give me a message, pop me up. But I did go pretty quick. Uh, down here again, if you're going to use, op you don't have to use a, a control array, you can use an actual array. So this could be equal to a string. Let's say this is an array instead. All you do is you pass the array. So your name would be here, whatever it is, array. And when you pass it here, it'll come through and it'll work. 